Welcome to Electron Online, and here we're going to start a new series. In this case, we're going to do a math series, and in particular, we're going to cover business math, which often is also associated with finite mathematics. But we're going to concentrate on especially the business perspective of mathematics. And so we're going to be dealing, first of all, with investments, interests, simple interests, compound interests, things like that, annuities, mortgages, etc. All kinds of finance math that we need to understand in the world of business. We're going to also talk about the functions and how they relate to business. So in, in algebra, we learn all about functions, f of x, and things like that. Well, how does it apply to business? And so we're going to look at functions in business. We're going to look at concepts such as cost, revenue, and profit, which is a big part of business, of course. And then we're also going to talk about the concept of supply and demand and how to work that in. And then we're going to look at some mathematical modeling. The reason why we use mathematics in business is because we want to be able to predict the future. It's all about prediction. What's going to happen in the future based upon what's happened in the past? How can we model what's happened in the past so that we can predict what's going to happen in the future? In addition to that, we're going to learn how to do optimization type problems. Very unique, to, very unique to business math, where we're going to have all kinds of constraints and things like that. We want to produce things. Where should we produce them? How much should we produce? And that kind of thing based upon the cost and benefit of the various aspects of that. And so that's very unique in the mathematics for business. And so we're going to look at that. Optimization is a very big part of that. We're going to learn how to utilize matrices because a lot of what we do in the optimization arena is done with matrices and of course and done with computers as well. We're going to learn about the Gauss-Jordan method of elimination which is a means of solving functions and we're going to look at the simplex method which is a very interesting and very handy way to solve optimization problems. And then once we've got that under control we're going to do some additional stuff, some advanced business principles what, which will involve calculus. So that will then come next. There'll be a next section where we're going to use calculus in terms of business math in all kinds of respect. We're going to revisit some of these concepts, but with more advanced techniques. So if you're interested in this kind of mathematics, hopefully this series will be very good for you and will help you in your studies and your understanding of business math. And that's what this is all about.